and welcome back to The Bright Side with me, Sophia. Thanks so much for checking back in. I hope you liked last week's story or episode. I need a name for it. I have to workshop that one. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And I hope that we've all been keeping well and safe. Before I get into today's Bright Friday story, I just want to clarify again that I'm making these videos to spread and share some positive news that will hopefully uplift and encourage and brighten your day, hence the bright side of life. <laughs> I think we should all still stay, you know, as informed and updated as possible with the current situation so that we can, you know, return to some normality hopefully soon. And now for today's Bright Friday story, we'll be hearing from John Paul Coe, the founder of Withenshaw Waste Warriors. It's a community litter picking movement, I guess. It aims to rid Withenshaw's parks and green spaces of litter. I got involved in this week's story, and um, so I'll talk a little bit about how you can at the end of the video. But let's take a look at what John has to say. Hello, it's John Paul Coe here. Founder and Chairman of Withenshaw Waste Warriors. We're a group Withenshaw wide who promote litter picking in our parks and woods and green spaces and on our streets. We support residents and service partners and invite businesses, schools and community groups to help us. This is uh, one of the places where it started, St. Francis Church, uh, the word of life with uh, Pastor Paolo and Claudia and uh, my sons, Bobby and Harry. We litter picked in the local area, in the local park. And then we formed a template of working to support other people in doing the same thing. And we're really glad to say that it's taken off and we've got some great support from everybody within Shorewide and we're making a real difference together. It's really important to have volunteer support in these green spaces. There's 17 parks of Withenshaw and we can't expect council services to be everywhere at once. And um, we like to support them and clean up and give feedback and uh, really mobilise everybody into working in and pulling in the right direction for a cleaner space. This is Milky Button Park and the sun's shining, it's a bit frosty this morning and um, everybody's really doing great work to come together. Our wooded areas and our streams and our streets um, are sometimes are a bit messy and, and they need some uh, extra help and we need to spread the word as well um, to try and uh, help people stopping dropping litter in the first place and that's something we're really working hard on going into schools and educating the next generation. We've had to put a pause on our um, events calendar um, and Covid has impacted how we operate so what we do now is we work in our bubbles um, following government guidelines and we like to promote picking litter on your daily walks when you're getting your exercise and uh, it's not just about picking the litter, it's, it's about evidencing what needs they are, reporting, fly tipping, um, really uh, promoting cleanliness in all the parks and green spaces. So as John said, volunteer work is essential to what the Withenshaw Waste Warriors do. Without volunteers out there picking up litter, Withenshaw is never going to be a litter free space, nor is any other place in the whole of the UK. But just to give you an idea of how far they've come and how much they've grown over the past three years since John first set up the group, they now have over 20 groups of litter pickers working in five wards of Withenshaw, which is incredible. Last year, they managed to fill 3,333 bin bags full of litter. Their goal was to fill 2020 for the year of 2020, so they went beyond their target. And so far this year, they've already filled 1,500 bin bags full of litter. So they are well on track to reach their target of 2,021 bin bags full of litter for the year of 2021. Hi guys, I just wanted to let you know that this figure has raised since I filmed this video. As of today, Thursday the 4th of March, the March count of rubbish bags full is 152 and the annual count is 3,177 bin bags full of litter. So they've achieved and gone beyond the 2021 target for the year of 2021, which is amazing. So well done, John Paul Co and all of the Withenshaw Waste Warriors, you're doing absolutely amazing. I really like that, having the target of the bin bags of litter picking to be the same as the year you're in. Just adding one every year. Just this week, I went to a local green space in Withenshaw to do some litter picking of my own. I wanted to see how much I could pick in a certain amount of time. And just to get, I guess, a bit of perspective on the litter situation, how much there is and what the work of one person can do so that we can imagine what the work of everybody could do. So 
I've been out here for about, actually I'm timing it, 10-15 minutes and look how much we've already got. So I reckon if I was here for another 20 this will be full. Just to give you an idea of how much there is just in this one little area. If you want to just look at how big this park is as well, um, you can imagine how much there is that we can't even see from here. Okay, so that's a little bit thing done. We were there for about an hour and 10, 15 minutes. Um, managed to fill one full bag and a little bit of another one, just in that amount of time, just one person. So just goes to show how much you can do in that amount of time and what we can achieve if we all do our bit. So if you are local to the area and you want to get involved, then I will leave those Facebook pages below for you to find your closest green space and your closest group. And if you're not from the area, have a little look on Facebook. You know, I'm sure you'll be able to find local litter picking groups and movements in your area that you can get involved with. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to John for sharing with us the positive things that the Willish Always Warriors are doing. Please like, comment, share this story with everybody that you know. And as always, if you have a story of your own or you know somebody that does, please don't hesitate to get in touch. And I really look forward to seeing you next week. Stay safe and have a bright day. Bye.